The first thing I want us to do is to take a look at the interface and familiarize ourselves with the different windows because it can be quite daunting at first, but it's actually much easier than it looks. Now, Logic has two different windows, three if you count live loops, that you will be spending most of your time. Now, everything here is the main window. The central part is the tracks area. This is where all of our audio and media regions will be, where we record, edit, and move the regions around, change the structure. Now, up here, we have the control bar. Here, we can open up different sections, such as smart controls, uh, the mixer or editors, and as you can see, they open down here. And of course, you can grab them, resize them, and if you go all the way down, they just disappear. Now, next to that, we've got the playback options. The LCD screen with information about the playhead location, tempo, etc. Next to that, we get some more controls. The master volume, which I suggest you don't touch for the time being. And then some more options that we will have a look at a bit later. Now, the second window we will be spending a lot of time is the mixer window. Now, many ways of accessing that. You can either press X, as in X-ray, and it will open down here. Now, as before, you know, you can grab it, resize it, or go all the way down and it will disappear. Uh, another way you can access it is by pressing here on this... Uh, here in the faders, so it will bring it up back here. Or my favorite method, and especially the best one if you have a second screen, is to open it on a different window. So you can either press Command and 2, and it will open up on a separate window, or you can just go up to Window and then open Mixer. But we won't be doing that because we will be using a lot of shortcuts. Now, uh, Another window is the live loops window, which we will have a look at a bit later.